Hey y'all, it's Kate from Love Story, and I wanted to say first, happy Band Books Week. It seems weird to some people to celebrate Band Books Week, but as a future librarian and a book lover at heart, I love celebrating this week because I still find it completely ridiculous that people are still trying to ban books. Like, haven't they learned yet that saying you want to ban a book is just bringing even more attention to the book and making people want to read it even more? But that's my side rant. I don't know why they do it, but it's just some people. And because it's been celebrated so much, especially in recent years, it's become almost a thing of um, pride if an author's book it shows up on the band list. A lot of authors find a secret joy in that. And so um, Congratulations, I guess, to all the authors that made the top 10 list from 2019. What I saw from this list is a lot of them are children's books, and a lot of them are challenged because of their LGBT content. So the U.S. is still not a tolerant country, which we all know from politics and whatnot, but um, these books definitely show it. So I haven't read most of these books, but I wanted to talk about two that show up on this list, that show up regularly on lists, that I have read and have made a huge difference in me. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Yay! And I think it shows a lot about our country that this book is still trying to be banned because a lot of people feel like our country is going more and more towards the ideals of the bad people uh, in The Handmaid's Tale and things that I remember learning, I haven't read it in a long time, I need to reread it again, uh, but what I remember learning from it in college and high school is don't fall asleep, meaning you should always be paying attention to what's going around, going on around you because you'll miss something and sooner or later the world will move on without you and you'll be stuck. Um, and also all sources of power can ex be exploited whether it's good or bad um, any kind of power can be exploited and usually will be exploited at some point and so just be aware of that and make sure that it's not your own power being exploited um, and also that you have to speak out when you notice something is wrong and this is so important especially this year speak out or else you'll be silent for the rest of your life so if you notice something's wrong if you notice someone's treating you incorrectly speak out and tell them a quote from the book says nothing changes instantaneously in a gradually heating bathtub you'd be boiled to death before you knew it so speak out when you notice something's wrong because if you don't you might be the only one that has that power to speak out so speak out and help even if it's not affecting you but affecting others definitely speak out um, and then the second book is really a series and no one on here will be surprised um, which is of course Harry Potter and, and they claim it's being challenged because of course it's you know promoting witchcraft and sorcery and we can't be celebrating witches even though they're just people like us um, which reminds me of one of my favorite mugs that I have it says don't let the muggles get you down which Ron tells Harry when he's going back to the Dursleys after a year at Hogwarts I love it um, so obviously these are muggles trying to ban Harry Potter year after year after year and um, it might get a little bit more attention these days because of all the JK stuff going on, but it's still trying to be banned because of the witchcraft, which is so silly and ridiculous. And so those are the two books that I've read on the list of top 10 most challenged books of 2019, so last year, and I will put the list down below in the description a link to the list so you guys can check out. Let me know which books you've read and which ones you want to read off that list. What are your favorite banned books? Um, and then the ALA, the American Library Association, also released 
the top 100 books challenge between 2010 and 2019. They actually have it for every decade, but since 2010 and 2019 was their most recent one, um, I thought I would give a shout out to that. And I'll also link that down in the description below. And so I went and counted, sadly, only 19 out of the 100 books I've read so far. Many, many, many of them are on my to ever growing to read list. Um, I expected a lot more because I usually re find a lot of the books I've read, read and enjoyed on these kinds of lists usually every year. Um, but weirdly enough, only 19 out of the 100 books from 2010 to 2019. And some of them have been the most influential books I've ever read in my life. Those include The Bluest Eye. Of course, you've heard me talk about that before. To Kill a Mockingbird, a classic that everyone should read. Um, it should not be banned at all. It should be required reading. To, is a life-changing book for so many people. Um, of Mice and Men, John Steinbeck. You learn about kindness and humanity. Uh, Persepolis, you learn about humanity. You learn about evilness. You learn about other cultures. It's just such an amazing book and graphic novel. If you haven't read Persepolis yet, go and read it. Um, I haven't read the second one. I think there's a second one if I remember right. Um, but the first one is definitely a classic that you have to read. Um, Beloved, another Toni Morrison classic that from the first time I read that book, it became one of my all-time favorites and it's haunted me ever since. And I just love it. Um, of course, Diary of Anne Frank, is a book that everyone I think is required to read at some point in their life um, and I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou is one of the most beautiful books I've ever read. I read that book and I cry every time and the cover is beautiful and if you haven't read it yet go get it. Go get all of these books if you haven't read them yet for some reason but Toni Morrison just has a way with words that moves me so incredibly. I just can't get over how she writes with such emotion every single time and makes me feel emotions that I never thought I would feel by reading a book. Um, so go check out all of the books mentioned. I'll put them, like I said, I'll put them down below in the um, description and let me know what your favorite band books are. We here at Love Story love to celebrate band books and books in general and usually some of my favorite books of all time make the band books list because people don't most of it is parents trying to control not only what their own kids read but what all kids read which is so wrong um, I grew up in a house where I hadn't I didn't have that kind of control what I wanted to read my mom let me read um, and it helped open my eyes to a whole new world that I wouldn't get in my little tiny country town in upstate New York. Um, and so I learned about slave narratives and became obsessed with that and Uncle Tom's Cabin and the Boxcar Children and a whole bunch of books that now would be banned or parents would frown upon reading. Um, I can only imagine if I read Harry Potter as a kid, as it was intended, my life, my life was changed when I read it as an adult, so I can only imagine how it would be if I read it as a kid. I would be one of those obsessed kids, I'm sure, because I'm obsessed now. Um, so, anyways, that's my short video for Banned Books Week. There might be other videos coming later this week on individual books or whatever, but let me know what your favorite banned books are. Let me know what you're going to be reading this week. Um, and let me know what other videos you want me to do. I'm always looking for new ideas. So anyways, that's it for today, and happy Band Books Week, and we'll check in with you later.